Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Ninja Reviewer. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god, it is that time. It is that time once again. E3 Greatness is back with this time we're going with Nintendo. Now, this conference seems a bit longer than the previous ones because mostly their conferences, well, the past two ones, like the directs, have been like on like. 40 something minutes mostly while other conferences like uh, Microsoft PlayStations are usually uh, like an hour and like 30 something minutes long or 40 something minutes long something like that but this one's actually close to an hour long maybe like 51 minutes so yeah close to like an hour long which I'm very shocked and you know what the funny thing is I see the dislike bar how are people disliking this conference it, oh no oh no it is it, it oh no Nintendo, what have you done, Nintendo? What, what 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 have you done to make the people dislike? Yo, I I, I swear to God, man, I I swear to God, if you if you fuck this conference up, if you do this, I'm sorry, but Sony's gonna be the clear winner. But if they announce what I think they're gonna announce, I don't care. I don't fucking care. If they announce that one game, it's a fucking rap, man. It's a fucking rap. I don't give a shit. I don't really. I don't give a shit. But I can't, I sort of do because I do care about the other games. Besides Smash Bros. I mean, can we not stop talking about Smash Bros. for like one second? Smash this, smash that. I get it. Smash Bros. is an awesome game, but we already had this shit like on Sunday-ish. Yeah, when E3 actually first started with the Nintendo World Championship. Then we had like the pre-conference with uh, Smash Bros. conference. We already had that. So we don't need to see Smash Brothers again because you already provided us the DLC stuff which already came out the day of your conference on Sunday. So, why do we need to know about more Smash stuff? So, I would like them not to focus too much on Smash, because I know Smash is an amazing game. Of course, it's an amazing game. I mean, granted, I think it's a little more, a lot more better on Wii U than 3DS. I'm just saying, my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have the 3DS version. I'm, I'm still playing it more now because the DLC characters came out. And plus, I think a friend of mine is now playing it more because there's more characters added. So... This is going to be a game that's going to be going on for centuries. I get it. This is going to be like the TF2 of like Nintendo. It's going to be going on for years. Until maybe there's somehow a next one someday. I get it. We know. But I just don't want them to focus too much on Smash Brothers news. I want to see other games presented there besides Smash Bros. I know. There's already a thing. What else you need to do? My point exactly. So, you know what? We're already done getting to introductions. Let's do this shit. Three, two, one. Oh, by the way, before I begin, I'm really hoping that Nintendo or someone please do not take this video down. This is for live reaction purposes only. This is to promote you guys. I love you guys in Nintendo. I'm hoping and praying that this conference actually sort of saves you. Because yesterday, the big news, fucking Shenmue 3. I'm still fucking hyped. How the fuck can you beat Shenmue 3? Shenmue 3 fucking sealed the deal on Sony. What the fuck can you possibly do to make me go ape shit? But after Shenmue 3... Okay, besides Final Fantasy VII Remake, which, that, that, that was unexpected. Then, an actual HD remake. I did not expect that. But still, fucking Shenmue 3. If you can beat Shenmue 3, if you, or if you're on that same god tier level, that's good. But if you're gonna be, like, on the lower bar of this conference, then I'm sorry, Sony's already won. But you know what, I'm gonna begin this right now. No more stalling. Let's get to it. Three, two, one, click, go. Alright. Ready for everyone. Ah, so we're not doing like ah, we're not doing like really Ether M. I have a feeling we're not gonna see fucking Metroid, are we? Damn it! Oh, Mr. Iwata. What the fuck? Mr. Iwata? Oh. Uh. Uh. Yes, we're ready to start filming the, the Nintendo Digital Event for E3 2015. Fucking Muppets. Okay, thank you. What the, what the hell is this? Directly to the. Last year we had Robot Chicken. Now we have the. The Muppets. Wow. Maybe, but let's see. Oh God. <laughs> Mr. Reggie. Nintendo 62. Nintendo 63. Nintendo 64. Oh, I see what you did there, Nintendo. Ha ha ha. I get oh the re <laughs> Reginator's pumped up. Oh shit. Yo, let's go. It's puppets. I don't give a shit. Let's go. Alright, this is kinda funny, but a little hype. But if it was like an anime thing, that shit would be even like beastly. Alright, so 
<laughs> I'm here. Ah, Mr. Rambo, no! Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. I, the, the, the music is pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. It's funny as hell, but the music just makes it hype. So, I don't know what sort of dislike, but let's see, though. So far, this is, this is kind of hype if they weren't... If they weren't puppets, I'd be kind of... Yeah. Again, if they were more in puppets, I'd be even more hyped. Like, oh, my hype level would go. Whenever like, you are, gentlemen. Oh God! I just have to remember my word. <gasps> <clears throat> you got a little thing on your nose there, little buddy. Huh? Look! Look! <clears throat> what the? Oh <clears throat> my God! No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! They're puppets, but oh shit! Wait! 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 What the? Oh no! Oh sh! No! Oh my God! It's happening! It's happening! It's it's well okay, but can you show me? Can you show me? Can you show me though? Can you show me? Like, like, like. The fuck? Come on. Show me gameplay! Show me something! That's kinda cool, but come on! Show me! Show me! Show me, show me, show me. Hey, Fox! Do a barrel roll! Yeah, come on, Fox! Do, do a barrel roll! I can do better than that. Check this out. Wait. Wait, what is it? Wait. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Thank you! Yes! Oh my god, yes! You did it! Oh my god! Uh, Alright! Already! We just haven't started! We haven't started yet! And the first news! Oh my god! Yes! Oh, it's fucking, it's fucking go time, baby. Yes, 10 years. Oh, there's the, what the fuck? What the hell is that? Wait, what the fuck is up with the ship? What is this, like Transformers? What the, f wait, what the? Wait, I'm really confused. So wait, so the R-Wing could, yo. So the R-Wing could fucking transform on gr Yo, that's badass. Oh, shit. Yo, the fucking R-Wing could fucking, Oh, that's fucking cool! Why would you dislike this? It's fucking, it's fucking Star Fox! Come on, yo! Oh my God, yes! If, where's F Zero though? If we get F Zero, yo, it's fucking rap, man! It's fucking rap. Zero. June 2015! Oh my God, yes! And it's fucking coming out this year, man! Yes! Yes! All right, hold on. I need to calm down. Fuck. Yes, finally. Oh my god. Fucking finally, man! D thank you. Finally, this is how you start an E3 off, man. Unlike last year with, <laughs> oh my god, oh first fucking Shenmue 3. Now this, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think I, sh oh what, I don't know what got me the most. Fucking Shenmue 3, I, or this, I don't know. But I think both of everything, both of everything. Oh, man, I don't know, I don't know, 
I mean, if Shamu 3 was already a shocker enough as it is, oh my god, fucking 2015, fucking someone better give me a Wii U, I gotta get a Wii U now, fuck it, god damn it, man, ah, why is it so fucking expensive, ah, I hope Christmas, I hope there's a miracle Christmas, man, it's over, it's fucking Star Fox, man, there's no need, I'm kidding, okay, I'm not gonna stop it here, but seriously, though, Oh my god, fucking yeah, we get to go on the R-Wing for over 10 years now. But wait, here's a big question, where the fuck is this going to take place at then? If this takes place, what, after Assault, I think? So, is Star Fox going to be married with Crystal after this? I don't know, but fuck it, let's just move on. Oh, yo, I need fucking time to breathe, yo. Oh my god, thank you, yes. Oh my god, alright, alright. Alright, I'm back, alright, let's do this. Let's fucking do this, man. I've had a relationship I'm sorry for the delay, but since I was a child. God damn it. Because of that, I felt that I was always Oh, this shit again? Didn't we have this like in last? <clears throat> Didn't we have this in the last child, E3? There was a TV show about Oh no, this is based on Star Fox. Thunderbirds. Oh, Thunderbirds. Yeah, I remember that show. They make a game that had cinematic elements with each character having a distinct personality and their own drama. So is this going to be a reboot? That would be reflected in the dialogue and appear in scenes... Is this going to be a like reboot a cool of, like, Star Fox 64? Pigman, what are you doing here? I'm here for a job, of course. And looks like I get to have a little fun. When it came to talking about details regarding how to make the main characters look and feel, we talked about all sorts of types of people. But ever since I was in school, I drew comics with caricaturized humanoid animals. Yes, and that's decided right. That the characters in this game Even my boy Miyamoto was inspired by this shit. I was fucking hyped and you were hyping me up even more. God then damn I thought, it. Let's try making a fox the main character. Yes, and I love the seriousness of 64 games. Oh my god. When there's an arch, you want to go under it, right? That's the kind of game I wanted to and make. They're talking about this. This is fine. I don't mind. This is awesome. All right. Thinking about the shrine, this place is known for the row of arches. So we went with this idea to create so this, a game. Oh, this is like Star Fox 64. Oh my god, but just like in HD. Oh my god. But Star is this going to be a, a game re where you use a control stick, like the one you'd find on a plane? When you fly a real plane, so you I need hope to pull we're gonna get like control stick to fly up, right? Now, if only we could get F zero, you can use the gyro Please, on the an F-Zero. to look all I doubt it though. But really I doubt the there's gonna be no Metroid because it says rated E for everyone. We'd like Metroid's more like rated uh, flying a real plane. It's uh, really T or M. That is actually a pretty exciting feeling, and I like the way how he's actually inspired by screens. the uh, we experimented Japanese with archers. With That's ideas actually really good. This iteration of Star Fox. We still have more to go. Shit. There were two oh my god. Each serves a specific purpose. For example, we've tested using one screen for a more cinematic view and the other for gameplay. The Wii U gamepad has a gyro, and it's a big reason we decided to make this game. It's a cockpit view, so it feels like you're in the cockpit like this. You can aim by moving the gamepad. Yo, around. that's so in the cool! Other Star Fox games, you play oh shit! The plane in third person Yo, on one no screen. wonder why this, this shit time, took over a year to do, or a TV, long time. They wanted to, to really the want to do this when the Wii U was out. Two screens, you oh can shit! See yourself flying in third Yo, person I'm so TV fucking high there. This is perfect. I don't care. You this is awesome. I don't really care. There's still going to talk about this for a while. This is amazing. Oh my god! So that's something I hope people can check out. On the Nintendo 64 system, you had to use a lot of buttons. But Very now, true. With the Wii U I agree pad, with that. That shit was really difficult to do. do things like speed I actually agree with him on There's only one button to fire all the different weapons. So there are four buttons left, and with that, we thought, why not use these buttons to make the R-Wing transform? Oh, that's so awesome! And let's use one button to do flip. Okay, that's and the new. Other for All right, I like that. That's really creative. All right, that's really awesome. The R wing transforming into a walker. That was in Star Fox too. But since oh. that game, oh. we were able to have. Wow, it I didn't know that. That was the in the original Star Fox mechanic Two, mechanic well, the game that was like never like even made. But sense. all right, that's very fascinating to know that. There's Fuck the you, I don't want to see photos. I'm not looking at Skype right now. But okay, that, that's one thing. Alright, I don't know and what else is going to be there. also the gyro wing. Nice! Alright, 
okay. game plan. All right. With it, you can perform a lot of tasks as Fox. You can also but that's play weird. Why can't you be Fox with other himself, vehicles though? too. That's a little weird though. So I hope you'll have fun trying out courses with different vehicles even after you clear the game. Mm. Oh, that is sick. We've rebuilt the game using ideas from the past, but it's not a part four or part five. It's so not what a is remake it? either. So also, we named it thank Star God. Fox Zero this time. So wait, can this be the infamous Star, Star Fox Zero 2 that was, was never made? The kanji character looks and calligraphy. This is not a part is based four off of the Japanese part... culture that so inspired I'm assuming this is so probably based on... So I people around the world to see this cool kanji character in the logo. That's really cool. I like that. When I saw it, it reminded really me awesome. of a foxtail. We wrote the character with a brush what does and the... added the logo. I'm not going with that. It looks cool. Damn, we're still talking about Star Fox. Alright. I like the remix I have. Oh, Nintendo Digital. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. So now, what else have we got? Hi, and welcome to Nintendo. Regidator! All right, man. We haven't seen you for like a I'm while. I'm Reggie Fisame. What up, Reggie? Of Nintendo of America. The my boy right there, man. Fucking Reggie puts down the words. Imagining ourselves as characters in the Star Fox universe. So maybe it was just a. Okay, so maybe it's not for the. But whole that conference. opening was more than just fun. Okay. It also represents a theme you're going to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That theme yeah. is transformation. Recently, Mr. Iwata yes. has made several announcements on how Nintendo itself is being transformed with expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codename NX, which we'll tell you more about in 2016. And X. Our purpose is that going to be like immediate. a new console that we're going to design? on the transformations you'll be enjoying no. right inside your Nintendo gameplay in the coming months. If there's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises, it is transformation. transformation we never let them huh? stand still. Okay, last year was there Amiibos. always has to be something what new. What do we have this year? Something then? compelling, hmm. and that even Very applies true. to the game Super Mario Brothers, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. It's 30 years to already. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious. Well, But along yes. the way, Very he's true. also transformed gaming. From establishing the platforming genre mm -hmm. on the NES that's right. Very to the true. 3D world of Super Mario. I wouldn't Mario be without this, man. I wouldn't be without the plumber. If it wasn't Super Mario it. Maker will take Where the next game step well, that next impact, the essence man, of still. game creation mm -hmm. over to you, our fans. Such an now, inspiring me. Oh, Mario Maker! As you build of course. Your own Mario I forgot that this game was also be coming out too. With friends. It's, it's it's this year. Oh, that's who cool. Knows? Maybe even I'll be playing, and of course beating your latest creation. Finally. Ooh, that <laughs> challenge, bro! Is that a challenge, Reggie? Okay. All right, Reggie. Yes, see how this amiibos. is. And as you'll find out this week, amiibos. there are more new amiibo on the way. Of course, you should have figured. In fact, shit. right now, we already know let's Splatoon's. see how Amiibo are about to show up in a totally unexpected way. Okay, alright. Let's see, I guess. Only 12 minutes, huh? Alright. So Ooh, at excuse. this year's Nintendo Digital event, the team put me right to work. So I'm pleased to be here with Karthik Bala from the Vicarious Vision Heart Studio Bala. at Activision. And Karthik, like we've got some Indian. great news to share. Yeah, so, you know, the hallmark of the Skylanders franchise has always been deliver brand new innovation and the highest quality game experience. For the first time, we're bringing a whole new toy category to life. We're bringing vehicles to life this year with our new game, Skylanders Superchargers. And really oh, blending who it. Who fucking cares about Skylanders? Things. Really? To it, right? We've got Fuck Skylanders. Who gives a shit? Stars. So, introducing Turbocharged uh, Donkey Kong. Oh, it's and amiibos of them. But vehicle. wait. The barrel Wasn't blaster. Skylanders the originality of all this? All? Oh, okay. They also have Bowser. Oh, that's pretty Hammer cool. Slam all right, Bowser, I like that. And his vehicle, the Clown Ooh. Cruiser. Bowser is always my favorite. Fascinating. Okay, that that's gonna like be pretty Bowser interesting. And act like Bowser. Okay. As you're playing as these figures, as you have the the various vehicles, right. what happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees 
of, um, ah, of powers okay. and That's abilities. That's actually pretty cool, I guess. Some of which are natural, things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and All Bowser right. slamming guess, down his hammer. But also really yeah, unexpected yeah. moves that harken back to elements of lore within the 30 years of history of these I don't characters. know, man. This is what I'm seeing, then. What else Man, can, it looks uh, cool. Can I'm just, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Skylanders like guy or fan. But it looks impressive. Don't get me you wrong. You can twist the base and, and switch it to <laughs> twist amiibo, the and base. it can be used as an amiibo <laughs> in another yeah, Nintendo said, game. Drought the base. So again, uh -huh. these characters, these vehicles, only playable on Nintendo. So as you go through this collaboration with Nintendo. A company that is very protective of its franchises, that always likes to have total control. What was that like in Wait, terms of working what? with us? Total control, yeah, like total control of our fucking life. YouTube videos. That was my YouTube like videos. Nintendo fanboys, and <laughs> like, uh, you know, I think we may have been a little too cautious at first. We wanted to have a form of Bowser where he became really okay. big, and you know, we pitched the idea of using Giga Bowser, and they and, uh, and yeah, Giga Bowser would have been a nice choice. No, I would have not using Giga Bowser like on like the machine thing. That would have been like pretty cool. Right, you know, he's never been seen before, and you know, this he kind of looks like one of the crew things from Donkey Kong. We, we wanted to like a little bit, set the of. Koopa on fire, and uh, and they said use dry bones, right? And so like dry bones, and they said, well, here's all the material for dry bones, and it was just you know building on top of that, and uh, we just didn't, you know, we didn't wow. think that we were going to get um, away with all of this stuff. Okay. Karthik, thank you so much for sharing this information. All right, pretty impressive, and but let's get on to something week, real we'll here. More and more I should have figured the Amiibo thing. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think... And there's gonna be a I don't lot know, more man. I don't know. I'm super excited. Fantastic. Thank you. I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. Is this is what we're seeing. Next? Oh, we're back to the puppets again. Okay. It's Starman. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, look at the puppets getting down. That's beast. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny, but is this like a way to troll me or something? Again, we're Mario Maker. Yeah, we know. Oh, 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 okay. That's really... Okay. Zelda Triforce Heroes. When one hero isn't enough. What is this? Okay. Stand together and triumphant! Okay. Okay. It's a new Zelda game! Oh shit, okay! Oh, okay, we're getting a new Zelda game! Oh, so this is something completely new then for 3DS. Nice, pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. So it's sort of like... Oh, so it's like the Four Swords game, Minish Cap. That's awesome! So we're getting like... Oh, that's so cool! So it's definitely like a Minish Cap kind of deal, except on 3DS. That's gonna be pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Sounds like a really good idea. Alright. And the soundtrack to this is really good. But I bet you the Hyrule Warriors 3DS will probably be shot on here. And you show each boss. Who's boss? Ha ha ha. Very funny. Alright, I'm liking the, uh... Oh, is that Ganondorf? Or is that one of the pig things? Oh, that's one of the pig things. Whoa, okay. Holy shit! Whoa. Holy shit! Yo, you can play this shit online! This shit will be mad as... F Yo, this will be fun as fuck to play online. Alright. I'm digging it! Oh shit! Alright! Very impressive! Alright, I like that. That's really cool. Alright, that's pretty cool. So it's like the Zelda Four Swords game, except uh, 3DS, sort of. If you can play this shit online, this will be really Hello, fun, though. I'm Aonuma, the producer of Zelda. Today, I would like to talk about The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. I bet this is why people disliked it, because they trolled the fan base of the new Zelda game for the Wii U, so they're like, oh no, we gotta give them dislikes, because we didn't want this shit, we want the Wii U one, which... They even said it before, guys, they weren't even gonna show it at this. E3, like because I said that next Everyone year would be the official to, to see who would get the most rupees. This time, I wanted players to cooperatively enjoy more serious Legend of Zelda gameplay elements, like solving yeah. puzzles and going through dungeons. The 3D visuals of A Link Between Worlds was a great feature. 
especially in terms of depth. Yeah, that was a good feature. So I wanted oh, to man. incorporate that into the multiplayer. Can you play online? If you can play online, this is definitely a seller. So that's why we came up with the totem mechanic. <laughs> The totem mechanic. The co-op was fully realized with the totem that mechanic. really cool, though. You can carry your friends on your shoulders and reach higher places. A four-player totem was too tall. So we decided three was the better choice. Hmm. Aww. I would have loved to have, like, a four-people thing. That would have been really cool. For single-player. There are supporting doll-like characters. There are two doll, oh, doll-like characters. And you dolls. can beat a lot of like doll between doll rank rank and boring. And these okay. two dolls. The story starts in a kingdom that is just full of fashion-savvy people. Then we find out something has happened. Uh, so the king is looking for a hero who could help. So different players are each claiming to be the hero, and so it begins. Using items to defeat enemies and conquering dungeons is a familiar staple from other Zelda games. Mm -hmm. So, it should appeal to fans of the series. This time, there's also a fashion element, where you collect items to create new outfits with new abilities. <laughs> Zelda's <Body> dress! <laughs> oh god, why do I have to imagine change. myself in Link and like, so the Zelda's looking dress? Oh my god. different experiences, depending on what you wear. I think okay. playing with people in online multiplayer where you can't see their reactions is fun too. I hope people invite others Ooh, to try it's out online. the game with them. Yay! Well. It's got online on it. Nice. All right. Sold. I might. I'm gonna convince the other guys to get this game so we can play multiplayer. That actually when looks really fun. I'm not gonna lie. That looks really impressive. Yelling excitedly about the game. <laughs> okay. I have the loudest voice on the team. Also for Nintendo 3DS, we have another new game. Last another year, new we game? had the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Hyrule Warriors on 3DS. 3DS I've already expected that already. This game is a reimagining of the Wii U game. It will include all the DLC characters from that one. Ooh, okay. If that's the case, it's true. I might as well just get the 3DS one then. <laughs> Forget about the Wii U then. I might as well just get the 3DS one because that one actually has... We are also has, uh... adding additional characters and stages from The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, to expand the gameplay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can play as the king. That's dope as hell. Hyrule Warriors that is, the fucking is not both like thing. the Zelda games I create. It is an experience only Koi Tecmo can really bring to life. Putting that on 3DS is going to be quite hard, though. Hyrule Warriors Legends. Oh, that's what it's I called. I hope you will enjoy Hyrule Warriors Legends as well as oh, The okay. Legend of Zelda. Two Tri Zelda Force games coming Heroes out. All right, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, really. That's actually uh, pretty damn cool. Not gonna lie. What is this? The 3DS game of... Uh... Wait, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it is. Uh, this is like unexpected. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this because I've pretty much already like seen this already. Yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward. Sorry guys, but I've already. Wait, what was that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fast forward that. Sorry, cause I already saw the trailer for that. Okay, already a fast forward. So I do not think. You know what? I think so. I think someone's gonna win this. Da -da -da. Sony's definitely gonna win this guy. Sorry guys, Sony is gonna win. First quarter 2016. Oh, really? So it's coming out. Oh, first quarter 2016. Oh, so it's early 2016. It's coming out. Okay. <laughs> what in the hell? What the hell is this game? Okay. What the fuck was this? Bionicle or some shit? What the hell is this? What? What? What the fuck is this shit? Metroid Prime? What? Well... Uh... 
I guess I can't say that there's a new Metroid game, but Metroid Prime What? Metroid Prime Blast Ball. 3 vs 3 Sci-Fi Sports. Oh, I think I know why they got a dislike for this. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is a huge troll. Really Nintendo? Oh my god. Oh my god. I think that's the reason why they disliked it. Hey, hey guys, you want a new Metroid game? Well, here you go. It's Metroid something something whatever. Hunter thing. And it's like not even like... Wow. I think I know why some people actually fucking hated this conference. Oh, shit, new Fire Emblem. But wait, we already saw this trailer. We already saw this already. This is Fire Emblem Fates. Didn't we? Okay, except this time it's in English, because the last time they showcased it, it was only in Japanese. Alright, so it's just a dub. Oh, okay, that's new. I didn't see this. Oh, shit. Oh, that's Beast. Okay. Alright, okay. Fire Emblem Fates. Nice, alright, but we already knew about this game, but whatever, the trailer looks pretty good. Nice. Oh, and the dumb, oh, that voice that thing. Oh, shit. Punishment. The sentence is death. Alright, that's pretty damn cool, alright. Nice. Oh! Oh, oh shit, yo, turn up! Yo, shit, ah! Damn it, 2016. Son of a bitch, it's not coming out this year. But it looks like it's ready now. Why can't we just already have this? All you have to do is just dub it. All right, what the hell is this now? Is this something new? Oh, again, a game we've already seen already. But wait. Oh, wait, shit. Wait. Oh, this is Fire Emblem Cross Shipping Gummy Tensei. They said they're not playing the Japanese song this time. Like, I know in the, uh... Oh, we're gonna see more of this. All right, cool. All right. This is definitely... Oh, it's a new song, okay. Before they play a different song. Uh, it's Fire Emblem Cross... Oh, Shin Megami Tensei. Okay, we're gonna see a lot more. I don't know the whole story behind this, but okay. The art's looking really better for this game, I'm not gonna lie. Tale of Youth and Heroes, guided by Destiny. I don't understand what they're saying, but okay. It's in Japanese, I can't. Chrome! Wait, that's Chrome? Oh shit! That's my boy Chrome! I didn't know that was Chrome. And I think I remember you from one of the Shin Megami Tensei games. Oh, sorry. Okay. I remember. I didn't recognize him at first. Now, I don't know if they're gonna have like any Persona 4 or 3 characters, unless it's just like Shimigami Tensei, like, like the actual Shimigami Tensei, not like Persona characters, which I would really like if that's the case. Because I, I, I played more of that than I played. Alright. Nice. Very, very nice. So we are seeing okay, there are some familiar faces. Alright, there we go. Alright. Fire Emblem Quest Shimmy Gami Tensei. So when is this really coming out? Again, Nintendo, really? 2016? Oh, besides Star Fox being your biggest hitter, which again I was very hyped for, but huh, bananas? Okay. What? Why are you looking at me like that? So you like bananas, who cares? I'm not judging your sexuality, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But okay, what is this? Oh, 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 here we go. What is this? What is this? Is this Halo on crack? What is this shit? Oh, I'm getting hyped. Wait, is this that game that they showcased, uh... Earth has been destroyed? What the fuck? What is this? I don't... But... Only this... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I already know what this is. It's, 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 uh, Xenoblade. The Xenoblade game that they're actually doing. Uh, it's not really anything particularly new here, guys. I have already knew this was actually coming. Not to really surprise me, besides the one thing that really surprised me, but... But, again, this is just something I already pretty much know about. Okay. 
Alright. Alright, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I hate to say this, but I'm not the biggest Xenoblade kind of guy. Like, to be perfectly honest, I wasn't really big into the franchise, but I heard from millions of people it's a great RPG franchise. I should definitely look into that, but I haven't yet, but I will definitely get to it when I get a chance to. Alright, so we're half hour in, we got about maybe another half hour left, or maybe 20 minutes. Another half hour, close to 20 minutes left, so hopefully, come on, we gotta see... Okay, that's coming out this year. Alright, so that's coming out this year. Seven? Seven, okay. Is that 17 game? What is this? Animal Crossing? Is what is this, like a new Animal Crossing game? Alright, what is this shit? What is this? This is, this is just Animal Crossing. I guess it's cute, but it's it's fucking Animal Cross. Oh, I guess it's for the new Nintendo 3DS. Okay, this is all based on the new 3DS that's coming out. Oh, okay. All right, I guess, but like, it's Animal Crossing. Yay! I don't really. Ah, uh, uh, man. Oh, Nintendo, come on. You, you, you had it, man. Star Fox and something else would have been sealing the deal, but... I mean, well, actually, no. The Star Fox was pretty cool. I liked the new Zelda one they're showing off. Like, that's Four Sword style. Those are, like, the only two games that actually surprised me that I kind of really like. Well, <laughs> fuck it. Star Fox, man. No, oh, come on, dude. Yeah. Come on. But... Seriously, I'm not really. Oh, goody, happy hunt racing. Uh, Wii U. All right, here we go. What? Really? Oh, so there's a new one on Wii U, I think. Animal Crossing Wii U? Okay. I'm assuming it's gotta be. Or a board game. What is this, 100% orange juice, man? What the hell is this shit? This is like 100% orange juice, except, uh, okay. I went for a bold makeover, but it was also flawed. I think I'll just stick with my original design. Oh my god. Now I'm starting to see why people are sort of disliking this now. Come on, it's cute, but I don't give a fuck. I want to see something that's impressive. The Metroid thing was just out of nowhere. It's just some weird. <sighs> Can I fast forward this? Permission to fast forward this? Because I really don't care about fucking. Now, uh, 32 minutes left. 32 minutes are passed. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, Nintendo. Give me something impressive. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to see this shit. It's it's cute. Hey, what is this? Oh, that's not called. It's not even called Animal Crossing. I see from the top. It's called a Camibo a Camibo Festival. Oh god, it's another fucking Nintendo party all over again. Oh Jesus Christ! It's another Nintendo land all over again. Son of a bitch. I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't care. Yoshi. Oh, I wonder what this is gonna be. What a surprise! Yoshi's fucking Woolly World. I should have expected this to come out. Well, I'm sort of interested to see how the finishing products of the game is. I work in software planning. Because I know they're gonna release it this year, along with the greatness at the beginning, but. Uh, I know, it's really cute. Oh, I, it, are they gonna talk about the Amiibo one? So I know they announced the Amiibo Yoshi, the, uh, the orange one. They, they announced that, which I think is actually pretty cute. He is the leader uh, of this project. I mean, time, actually, I'm not going to lie. This player, game actually looks so really fun. I hate to say this, but I'm really player. looking forward to this game. More of Yoshi's Woolly World. All right, cool. Not surprised, but really cool. I heard it's going to be not like um, Yoshi's so epic... I mean, yeah, Yoshi's Kirby's epic yarn. Artist, I heard it's supposed to be like... More serious towards like the heart, like the core gamers game. who actually, so yeah. It, it, oh, that actually looks really, really hard. Working hard. Damn. So I thought How are you gonna myself, pass that? Wow. Well, Alright, so the challenge factor is there, kind of. 
and got some yarn. <laughs> oh, she. And I decided to make my very first yarn, Yoshi. Oh, so adorable. But come on, seriously, uh, can we get to something on else that's kind of, colleagues you know, really new? There was this proposal made. Something new, bird. Come on, I already know about like this, this already. But it looks and cute. It looks cool. I mean. I might because, actually check this out you know, down the line, sort of. It does game. look pretty fine. And when I heard that, it looks like Yoshi's story, but idea. like we yarn. It's kind of cute. Yarn, Yoshi, uh, okay, but Yoshi himself is made of yarn. I know my Yoshi my wife would love this game a lot, but I want to. So he turns into like a propeller <laughs> when you jump, and he turns into yarn. a bullet when he does the ground pound. Yarn. But also, the world itself is in yarn and fabrics. And lots of textiles. We have places in the game where you can unravel and you can also knit platforms. What is he pooping out yarn? Game, Ew! Looks like he's the taking a shit in the yarn. yarn. Well. So when well, and again, he does poop out them, eggs. So. They turn into little yarn balls instead of eggs. Well, most of all, we want the game to be fun. Yoshi's Woolly World provides plenty of challenge. If you try to okay, that's good. If it provides plenty of challenge, I'll definitely check this out along down the line. But I already knew this game was already coming out. Enjoy the game and there's lots of people so this is definitely 2015, okay. But come on, man. Fire Emblem, like, and really, Nintendo? Us, why you gotta wait till so next year for that? About like, Yoshi everybody's fucking hyped for that shit. Level is like, oh my god. Because if you just want to have fun, you can just run through the levels. If you think you're a more advanced player, you can set the challenge a little higher by collecting lots of items. And that provides plenty of challenge in this game. We are very confident okay, that the game I can provides actually both tell. the challenge and the fun. So, what's the next, uh... This is supposed to be another Mario game. Someone rumored that there was going to be another one. So that the user can decide how... It's not like you can play this game online, friend. so it's not so like I'm really going to get this day one. With your friend. You can help each other out. You can swallow the other Yoshi, turn him into a yarn ball, and then throw it to high areas. So <sighs> but, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah Star Fox, it was, like, fantastic, <laughs> man. But, yo, this is, like, uh, can we declare it? Can we declare now that Sony's actually won this? Yoshi's design turns into that amiibo character. Whoever told me this conference was epic, you fucking lied to me. Can get a Mario oh, Yoshi. okay. <laughs> What the fuck? What the hell is that Mario thing? Pattern, Mario design. You can make a Mario <laughs> so pattern and of an it. Yeah, that looks ugly. You can have fun trying out different characters. That looks kind of cute, but the Mario one looks fucking. Yo, kill that with fire. That looks ugly. Ew. He was really cute. Big ass nose. Oh, it's Poochie. Ah, oh, it's cute. I remember him from the old Yoshi games. Ah, so uh, Poochie. Okay, that's kind of cute, but stop yeah, giving me diabetes and let's get to something really fun to go else. Back, revisit that level because I will admit, though, it, again, this, this looks really impressive, though. I really, I actually do want to play be great this. If you can collect all the items in one but it's not like, you know, but that is quite challenging. rocking so hard my dick, like the one announcement did, but come on. Oh, uh, now I can understand why. Are we done talking about this? Because we still have, like, another 15, 20 minutes left of this conference. Oh my god. I told her, okay. Yep, I knew it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, quit fucking trolling me, man. Come on, stop doing the puppet thing. Alright, fine, alright. Nintendo. Levels, levels. Okay, what is this? Wait, what the fuck? Yukai Watch. What the fuck is this? What? What in God's. What? What is this? Why, hello there, my name is Mr. Yukai. Trying to meet you. Spoil the world. Yukai Watch. Think you understand Yukai a little better now? What the hell is this? Use the Yukai lens to find Yukai. Okay. I don't know what the hell this game is even supposed to be. It's a Japanese game. I mean, better do something incredibly last to get this, like, balls of fury. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. Alright, this game, use your yokai watch to help the town of Springdale. Okay. Yokai watch. For 3DS, or Wii U, I don't know. Holiday 2015. Yeah, Luigi! Oh, a, Lu a Luigi? Luigi? Oh, shit! Oh, cool! Ooh, a new Mario, Paper Mario game. 
All right, I'll take this because I really like Paper Mario. Oh, okay. I hope it's better than the. Um... Oh, it's a. Cro oh, oh, it's a oh, it's a crossover. It's a crossover. Oh, that looks really cool. It's a crossover from the Mario Luigi Superstar with Paper Mario. Oh, okay, that looks really cool. All right, finally, something that looks interesting that I'm actually piqued my interest now. Ooh, nice. Nice triple hammer team there. All right, not bad. Not bad at all, okay. This actually sort of piqued my interest. Sort of, yeah, it kind of did. Damn! <laughs> all right. Whoa, nice. <laughs> I like the tennis. That was kind of cool, though. Um, all right. <laughs> what the? What the? Pff, paper crap? What the hell? Paper crap Mario? Whoa, holy shit. It, what is this, Mario Minecraft? It looked like Minecraft figures. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Paper Jam, Spring 2000. Eh, not that far behind. Well, not that really. What is this? <gasps> oh, no! Mario Tennis! Oh shit, it's Mario Tennis! It's Mario fucking Tennis! Oh shit! Mario T Ma Mario Tennis? Oh, they're bringing Mario Tennis back! Oh shit! Mario fucking Tennis! Yo, have this shit online! Okay, and it's for the fucking Wii U! Okay, I'm a little hyped now. Oh shit, I fucking love Mario Tennis. That was my favorite Mario sports game. The 3DS one though sucked. Yeah, I didn't like the 3DS one. That one kind of sucked. But the, the GameCube slash the Wii one was amazing. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Oh, they, yo, this shit better be fucking online. If this is online, it's a fucking win right there. Yo, I love that. Wait, what is this? We've been working okay. together for 30 years now. Aww, if there's well, three okay. ideas presented to both of us, we pick the same one. Okay. Super Mario. As the years went on, and we made more and more side-scrolling games, we had to create a more advanced tool to design them with. Oh, this is for a game of Mario Maker? This, this is like the, the third or fourth time you showed Maker. this. The tool got but, so okay. good that the more we worked with it, the more we realized we could also turn it into something everyone could enjoy. With Ooh, Super okay. Mario Maker, anytime you make an edit, you can see the results right away. No one Nintendo, they'll feedback. have one really little, they better have one little, little tiny bit of a surprise at the Back end. Back in the day, we had to create then... everything by hand. To design courses, we would actually draw them one at a time onto these sheets of graph paper. But, oh man, that we Mario Tennis though, that's a little bit of hype though, because that shit is online, that shit's gonna be bananas, like, I want that, because this. if they have it online, it's, it's a soul, because Mario Party 10 didn't get no online, I, I, that was, that was pretty disappointing. So, um, if Mario Tennis gets, um, when we first thought of the idea um, of Super Mario uh, online Brothers, for Wii U, we had a it's concept a wrap, of land, it, air, it, it's a wrap, sea. it's a wrap, man, it's a wrap, we got Star Fox, we got some See pretty interesting titles on coming out from the movie cloud. You can now do that in Super Mario Maker. You can even control where the cloud oh, flies. Okay. Ooh, that seems pretty cool. In the old days, when we needed why to fix or change part of the course, like dicks it would get really everywhere, messy like if we tried to why, edit the original drawing. They're going so to do we that put this see-through paper on top to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar. But you can combine various elements from the different I games have, um, to create entirely new stuff. Besides those, I'm really hoping to have Super Mario like 64. Stacking different enemies on top so of bad they don't have Super Mario 64. Huge tower, and then um, putting a bullet that kind of sucks. So I wish they had like the 3D ones. I can animate that and go to 3D. Like Super Mario 64, you can create your own. Yo, that you shit would be sick as hell. Never though. placed underwater. That that will blow my fucking right. mind. There like, are some enemies that don't ooh, okay. appear underwater. This is from the uh, like I think the new Super when you Mario. put one underwater in Super you Mario, can Maker, it will swim like a small shrimp. Mario can even take on the appearance of other characters. Hmm, okay. Tap a compatible amiibo like Wii Fit Trainer, and Mario can turn into Wii Fit Trainer when he gets a mystery. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cool, though. Costume Mario. S costume Mario. Okay. Planned. So you can basically just put the amiibos celebrate Super Mario on, like you activate it when Mario does the mushroom thing, and they amiibo. become when different characters. It, that's kind of funny. Mario in game is going to appear a bit bigger. 
The amiibo itself is pretty big too, to reflect the effect in the game. <laughs> they have mustaches. Why do the Goombas have mustaches? The booklet it's has weird. a lot of sample courses. It's really fun just looking at them, as if this is what would happen. In my opinion, oh hey, the, the boot thing for Mario, Mario Brothers Three. But really though, I really wish we could have gotten like the more 3D kind of Most games. Most times, but the 2D ones. I start by ah, making looks like the course conference will be almost I over. I guess this means it's gonna be the end. Which is soon. usually like uh, that's gonna, that's gonna two suck. one. But let's see though. Two, I mean, maybe two. there'll be one last Once little surprise. That's done, I'm hoping we try to make there'll it be one a little, little easier. So we move on. I don't think Mario Maker is gonna be one, the last one. thing that's gonna. Hold it's always you like that. I mean, again, I didn't come like, across as a mean person by saying this, but. In 1-1, one, one, there's a Goomba, which is clearly an enemy, but there's also a Super Mushroom, and you might run when you first see it. You run, but there's a block above, so you can't run. So if you jump, the ceiling is low, so you usually hit it. Okay. What? But when you do, okay. you grow big. It's a surprise. Oh, there okay. are stairs, right. but there are gaps. But the first gap has a floor, and the second one is the Sorry one you I'm want to avoid tall, because kind of it's bottomless. So it's a tutorial in a sense. We put a lot of thought into those types of things. When playing a Mario game for the first time, it's a challenge to run and jump at the same time. New players usually fall into the first pit because they can't make the jump. But they learn from it. They usually fall into it because they can't make it. It's like game I mean, design it's not training really software. That weird, though. Try it if you want to get into game design. All right, so maybe there'll be one last little thing. I hope. I mean, with enough practice, anyone can become a good course designer. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. We have seven, eight, nine. Jeez, we have like five more minutes left. Oh. Earlier I said that Nintendo's experience for E3 is all about transformation. Okay. And while we've given you a sneak peek of some of our games coming later in 2015, there's nice. still much more to share. Really? Next, Nintendo we... Treehouse Live at E3 begins. Okay. We'll hmm. kick off with Mr. Miyamoto and fellow developers. Ooh, okay, so we're getting into like a part two deal. kind of deal. Okay. And if you can't wait to get your hands on Super Mario Maker, the opportunity is right in front of you. Oh, okay, so you can on play Wednesday, it at Nintendo Treehouse. On from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Saturday from noon until 5 p.m. local time, you can walk into any of more than 100 Best Buy stores in the U.S. and Canada and hmm. experience the game for yourself firsthand. Ah, okay. You can find Very the nice. details of all of our activities this week at e3.nintendo.com. All right. To close, as anyone transforms, be it a person or a company, it's good to reflect on where you've been okay. to help guide where you go next. Over the okay. past 30 years, more than a billion people yeah, around I forgot. the world this have played Nintendo's Nintendo Nintendo anniversary. And most of them have played as gaming's biggest star, Mario. Okay. From the music, to the costumes, to the characters, Super Mario isn't just Nintendo's mascot. Yeah, There's I a mean, little uh, piece of him I mean, granted, and certainly memories it's a very of his nice, adventures like, inside all of us. Aww, that is kind of sweet, actually. So what is like the last four minutes going to be? Like a montage of like, Super Mario? I mean, we get it. It's really nice, but... Come on, there's gotta be one last thing. There's gotta be one last thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a montage. It's a montage, I should've figured. It's gonna be a montage problem. This is, this is gonna be like the last three minutes of it, isn't it? Really? Willy? Willy, don't, why don't you show the other Mario games? Where's Mario 64? Where's Mario Galaxy? The 3D games that got you into the... Oh, okay. Okay, whatever, let's get into something. Something big, something big, come on. Something... Ah, uh, well... That's cool. All right, I like the ocarina one. That's kind of cool. How they actually play the. Uh... So yeah, yeah, yeah. This is probably gonna be the last like three minutes. Oh shit! Oh, breaking it down. 
Uh, do it. I don't want her to do. Do do do. I mean, it's a nice montage, but really? Oh, now the dogs are singing. It. It's a herd of Mario's! Everybody run! It's a stampede! <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Alright, come on. There's gotta be at least one last thing. I mean, a minute? A minute? What else are they gonna tease us with? A minute left? A minute left? Come on. Let's Super Mario. Super Mario Dark. Oh, fuck you, that's gotta be the end then. Uh, Alright, well. Alright. Now it's your turn. Visit LetSuperMario.com and help us celebrate his 30th anniversary by submitting your own Super Mario video. And do it for a good cause, with Nintendo making a donation to the nonprofit group Operation Smile. Visit our site for details. Let's have some fun, let's support a great cause, and let's Super Mario. Do the Mario! I turn up. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's it, guys. I'm pretty much done with this, so... Yeah, I'm done. What the fuck? What the oh, well, I guess that's all the different Mario Maker things. Oh, wow, okay. That's actually kind of cool, though. Oh, God. I mean, I can understand that the 3D stuff is a bit harder, but come on. I mean, okay, I, I mean, it's okay, I mean, it is the 30th anniversary, so I can... What? What is it? Oh, damn it, well... Alright, well, enough of that. Well, that's it for the conference. Um... I'll give my final thoughts on it on the crossover combos, but Star Fox being the hype, great start, but other things, the Zelda stuff is pretty good, uh, the Yoshi's Bully World is starting to look promising, so that's, you know, pretty cool, Animal Crossing, uh, fuck Animal Crossing, uh, Square Enix, Square Enix does, yeah, they had their conference today too, but, yeah, well, we had our Metroid game, but it was the biggest troll. It's some kind of weird multiplayer game. Yeah, now I understand. I understand why... I understand why they disliked it now. But granted, Star Fox, you at least gotta be hyped for that. I am hyped for that. I don't care. There's another reason for me to get a Wii U now in this life. But, you know, the, the Ocean's Willy World looks kind of cute. I, I don't mind that. Uh, Mario Tennis. That shit better have fucking online, though. That's all I gotta say. But, as a 30-year tribe, this shouldn't have been an E3. It should have been more of a tribute to, like, Mario Marthy. The ending part should have just been its own separate video. May Who knows? Maybe the Nintendo Treehouse will show maybe a bit more, but... Uh, I just don't really know. But again, this is a slight reaction. Final thoughts. You were this close, Nintendo. You really were this close. But I think we know who the real winner is this E3. But who cares, though? I mean, it, it's still a legendary E3. Don't get me wrong. It's still a legendary E3 from the hypeness, which was Shamu 3. I don't care. I don't fucking care. But still, Star Fox, though. Star yeah, it will go down in history, because we got Star Fox finally after 10 years. We got Shenmue. We got the re the official remake of Final Fantasy uh, 7. So, those are some pretty hype stuff. But, and The Last Guardian, like, again, um, again, final thoughts will be on crossover combos. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Well, at least I enjoyed well, most of the majority of it, kind of. All right, so this is uh, Ninja Reviewers signing out. Peace. And, yeah, surprisingly, this is shorter than my other live reactions I did for E3. So, yeah, see ya.